Hey there, my name is Promise and welcome to more Rebel Link Escalation custom scenarios. I found a scenario that I want to try out. It's called Abandoned and Alone by Fiketto. Because of the region falling down, coalition and sponsors that give you money abandoned you. That means you need to do on your own here. For your luck, you got four oil derricks mounted. That grants you money. And then there's some Discord information. Okay, well, uh, I don't know if this is a lot of a description, but it does give the gist. Basically, um, apparently our sponsors have decided, you know what, there's not enough return on investment, so yoink, we are pulling your funding. And I'm like, well, crap, I still need to defend this region. What am I going to do? We are playing as the general. I guess I'll leave these guys alone as is right now. Normal difficulty should be fine. We don't get to choose a name, so hopefully it's good. Welcome to Knowing Desert. All right, sounds good. Operation Black Ash. We do start off with a zone fortified. That's interesting. Well, I think I'll go for my tried and true location for the HQ right here in a good central location. We do start off with a garrison located over here and one up over here, weirdly enough. Four oil derricks all in the desert. This is going to be a little bit hard to defend since it's kind of hard to get around in this region. And a tunnel. Okay, keep these guys out of these tunnels and hopefully we can defend the oil derricks. That's my only source of money. Yeah, as shown right here. What kind of modifiers do we have here? No coalition soldiers, except for the one who's apparently coming in right now. They're not coming back. Okay. More national soldiers, three more of them. At least it gives me some idea how many units I can work with, up to seven, really. Uh, four oil derricks, the only way to generate funds. Okay. We have one stable zone. Insurgents are able to retreat across rivers, but it doesn't say they can attack across rivers. So that'll be important for knowing how we're going to corner them. And also, insurgents get strength boost in regions with caves. So fighting in caves is going to be a bit of a pain. All right, fair enough. So let's go for some district representatives. Um, there's two levels of uh, effective procurement. One, one is cheaper than the other and gives less corruption. All right, I guess we'll take that one then. And let's go for regional census. Civilian, we actually start off with a fair number of infra uh, initiatives. That's nice. There's also the infrastructure and civil services. Roll out a civil service such as phone services, food services, and more. Significantly increase support level. 30 bucks. Very expensive. Very expensive indeed. All right. Let's go for military bases. This gets me garrisons, tanks, airstrikes, drones, specialists, interpreters, cave combat, better national soldier training so they train faster. And then we have, of course, the soldiers themselves. I'm going to go ahead and start training them up immediately. Because I really don't see any reason not to. What is this, by the way? I missed some things. Increase tax, cost reputation, diacrese, supporters gain. Okay, and then we have lower tax, get reputation back, but it costs me money. Oh, okay, so we can sack reputation early to get some early funds, and then once we have lots of money, spend it to get our reputation back by lowering the tax. Okay, yeah, no, that works for me. I'm fine with that. Local militia, the outreach office, propaganda, increase hostility levels, but get reputation. Kill the insurgents, block peace, but get more reputation. And change to gold standard, disabling infalchion. Inflation doesn't matter. Stonks. Eee, that sounds good. All right. Well, let's go ahead and just get some more national soldiers trained up. I may not be decreasing their training time, as fun as that would be. But it would be worth getting nonetheless, I do believe. Um, all right, so let's see. We probably do want to get some anti-corruption early on, because if we're training up two national soldiers, then we know that in, uh, corruption is going to be an issue. In fact, we're going to be relying on uh, national soldiers for pretty much this entire run. So corruption is always going to end up being a threat for me. We didn't want to get at least two levels of that fairly early on, I think. And then beyond that, since we started off with so many uh, early initiatives, I might want to go directly for something like the PR. Although, weirdly, PR is not an option. Wait a minute. Do I have to get infrastructure and stuff first for, like, telecoms? Maybe. I could deploy some units right now, but I don't see the point. Um, at least until these guys spawn, that doesn't really get me anything, so I guess we'll hold off on that. Let's go for some infrastructure. That would lead to telecoms. Might want to get those, plus some roads, especially the dirt roads. Could be pretty significant. Outreach office might be helpful as well, just to roll out some of these initiatives a little bit faster. Prison reforms, I would have to spend a lot of money to get the full reform. I guess we'll do a limited one that cost me three bucks. I'm not going to get the extra reputation, but considering my money generation is kind of on the low side, I think I'm okay with that. There's the outreach office, so we could go for universal justice at some point soon. Okay. So we have our soldiers. We're ready for the first round of uh, insurgents, depending on where they plan on spawning. I would love nothing better than to get some telecoms. People want water and healthcare. Weirdly enough, those are two things we already started with, so I feel like that's fine. Uh, people also want jobs and stuff. Well, you're going to have to live without that. Let's get the telecoms going. Oh, that did unlock PR. See, sometimes I know that those are locked behind each other because, well, I mean, it makes sense. If you don't have telecommunications, how are you going to broadcast how awesome you are, right? So that sort of makes some sense. 
Uh, looking for any sign of camps. We already have full intel. This is only normal difficulty, so I only expect one camp. Please don't spawn on the tunnel. Ah! Okay, close to the tunnel. Not on the tunnel, but close to it. Uh, it could be in here. Looking for any sign of a camp. It should be somewhere in this area. I guess we're gonna go ahead and launch an attack. Let's try to protect the tunnel. Found it! It is on the tunnel, the exact place I asked you very kindly not to spawn. Alright, that's fine. We caught it early enough that it shouldn't end up being an issue. They're gonna retreat into these mountains, and that's fine. I want them to stay here, because as long as they stay away from the tunnel, they're not going anywhere near my oil derricks. So that's good. We'll stick with that for now. Thank you. Okay, what else? Uh, let's go with the PR. We want to have plenty of support level, get some areas stabilized. We actually almost stabilized three zones already, which I find a little surprising. I also noticed that we got a kill early on. Wait a minute, is there another camp over here? There must be. Um, let's go over here. See if we can contest this. Yeah, you stick in these mountains. I'm okay with that. There's another camp right here. Spawn in the same area so they can spawn on the dang... Okay. The game really, 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 really wants to take the dang tunnels, don't they? Let's go for some universal justice. That's usually pretty good. We could go for local police recruitment, but you know, I'm making so little money right now, I'm not sure it's worth it. So these guys actually all died. Do we have a secret increased, like, kill chance? There might be a hidden modifier in here somewhere. Uh, it seems like we have killed insurgents every time they've tried to retreat. That's not normal, all right? I've played this game enough to know that that's not normal at all. Let's see if these guys die right here. Yep, they did. See? Okay, so that's making me think that something's modified here to make this a little bit easier. And I'm not upset about that. I'm not upset at all. That sounds actually very nice. Thank you. Uh, do we want to get garrisons? Maybe. But you know what I'd rather do is go ahead and start training up more units. The more units we have, the better. These coalition troops aren't going to stick around forever, and when they do leave, I don't want to be left with only two people. Okay, a camp spawned up over here. Let's go ahead and kick these guys out ASAP. I do not like these guys taking my city. Uh, I also don't like them having camps in places I can't easily control. I see them going for an urban area right over here. We'll deal with that shortly. Hang on. Just need to stabilize this. These guys died. Perfect. All right. You guys run. You guys head over here to reinforce. I'm okay with you guys spawning over here as long as you stay in the mountains. It doesn't bother me. Let's go ahead and train up more units. Uh, national travel logistics could be good. We have snipers. Every time a garrison or a soldier unit attacks insurgents, it takes one casualty of insurgents being killed. Every time we attack... It kills one automatically? That's interesting. Okay. Travel logistics for combat strength and stuff? Not a bad idea, um, but is it important right now? I think we'd rather just hold off on money. What do people want? Telecoms? Weirdly enough, the one thing that I got, so I'm not, not feeling worried about it. Uh, I'm going to leave these coalition troops over here for the time being. I think my national soldiers can handle this. We're moving a little bit slowly, though. Let's prepare some land for refugees. I really need to get roads, I think. My, uh, my people are not moving around nearly as fast as I want them to. Stay out of those tunnels, dang you. You keep far away, okay? Get the heck out of here. All right, with reinforcements in place, we actually just killed these guys all off entirely, which means we can clear out this group. Oh, and there's their camp. Cool, let's go ahead and get rid of that too. So, roads then. What kind of roads we got here? Okay, so these are all main roads. I think those will be good to start. Dirt roads are something we'll probably want to get as well. Uh, my coalition troops have upset people so much that they actually are no longer supportive over here. We should probably get interpreters and guides so that that's not an issue. Though it feels like it's not a very high priority, given that uh, we only have one coalition soldier. So it's not like they plan on sticking around forever, am I right? These guys are making a move as soon as I left. Of course they are. Let's leave some troops here on the tunnel. I'm going to leave some troops over here, uh, close is to the derricks. And then somebody up over here, just keep these guys contained in the mountains so that they don't try anything funny for a little bit. Uh, strategic communications, I'll go ahead and grab for even more support. Okay, there they are, going for the derricks. Exactly where I said, please don't go. That's what they did, though. All right, we got some reinforcements, so we should be able to win this, no problem. And there's a camp over here. Okay. Hold the phone. Need to go get that quickly. Um, getting some garrisons could be nice. You need to set up a garrison over here so we can easily contain people or set these guys up in the desert. I do see a camp. We need to go get this. Should be able to finish that off easily. Another camp. There are two camps immediately next to my derricks. That sucks. Let's go ahead and get garrisons. Hopefully they get set up in an intelligent location. We'll continue to threaten. Only getting um, three reputation instead of ten. That's interesting. I'll wait until I have five bucks, which should be happening right here, and then we'll go ahead and build out this garrison. Plenty of units on the way, so we should be able to deal with all this. I'm not thrilled that they're getting into the tunnel. Uh, we can try moving over here and prevent them from doing anything, maybe. I'm going to go over here and try to kick these guys out. This camp's going to go away. We should be able to arrive here easily. 
Okay. So maybe we kill both of these guys and they don't have a chance to retreat. We'll find out in a second. What's this? Publicly shame? Uh, I need to deploy the military over here and then we can do this event to deploy. I think we did actually kill these guys, which is definitely better. Alright, so uh, camps firing over here is kind of my worst nightmare. That's where things can start getting pretty bad pretty quick. Um, Alright, I'm going to have to publicly shame these guys then. Which apparently makes them feel more bold, but whatever. Let's train up some more national soldiers. I think these guys are going to go away pretty soon. Uh, apparently, we are very bad at fighting on our own. We need to have reinforcements. So we'll send the coalition troops to fix that pretty quick. Keep these guys right back out. You guys sit over here or something. I don't know. Um, we could get money if we just decrease national soldier strength. But, like, why would I do that? That's almost universally a bad idea. Am I right? Pretty sure. Oh, gosh, I would love to get dirt roads, um, if I can afford them at some point. A lot of, uh, zone stabilizing, though. I am kind of surprised how easy that's been for us. 18 bucks for dirt roads feels like a lot. It does kind of suck that we're not really getting any extra income here. I would have liked a bit more out of these oil derricks. I don't remember if they produce more money if you stabilize the zone they're under or not. Maybe they do. But then again, maybe they don't. I don't know. We'll go ahead and set up over here, since we have a couple of nearby garrisons, we'll be fine. Um, I would like to train up more units. Again, the units are fairly cheap, so I'm not too worried about it. I know our coalition guy is about to leave us. I'm betting it's going to cost a ludicrous amount of money to try and keep them. We do need to get a foreign relations office for $11. Let's go ahead and do that now, so we can do some more subtle pressure. Very subtle, as I say that you suck in front of the UN. Okay, let's go ahead and set these guys up over here. Plenty of reinforcements. There's a camp. We need to go ahead and get rid of that. And the coalition soldiers are going to leave. Wow. Yeah, billions upon billions of reputation to try and keep them. That was never an option. Not surprising, but there you go. A garrison right here is actually very fortuitous. Very good spot for one right now. So we should be able to win fights over here, I would certainly think. Might want to make these guys stronger. $9 isn't that bad. It is kind of weird getting money out of cycle. Right, we're not having to wait for this sponsor meter here to actually fill up, which I kind of like. Anyway, we got rid of that. Um, let's go ahead and send these guys over here, since this appears to be where they're primarily going to be causing problems. And threaten again. We're just continuing to just ramp up this reputation. Why not? I'm sort of expecting a camp to fire off over here pretty soon, since there's not a lot of spaces left where these guys can actually fire off. But we'll see what happens. My corruption's not as far low as I would expect, considering we haven't been doing too much. We could start doing civil assistance, and I guess I will just to kind of roll some stuff out and make these guys like me a bit faster. Go ahead and move you over here for the same reason, by the way. Just make this so these guys are so stable they don't want to spawn any camps. That's the way to do. And again, oh, hang on. We're not even looking to fight these guys, because if we do, they might retreat across the river, and then it becomes a little annoying trying to deal with them. Let's go ahead and get some reinforcements in position. Actually, setting up here is even better, because then it can reinforce two places at once. You move back up over here. Threaten again, get that reputation back. We're sitting at 129. I could just go ahead and raise more taxes, right? <laughs> That'd be fun. Um, the fact that we're able to kill insurgents is a little bit overpowered, I'm not going to lie. It means that the insurgents don't have nearly as many opportunities to ramp up in strength because we're constantly whittling them down. That's a little bit too powerful of a hidden modifier that we are receiving. Don't get me wrong, I'll take a little help that I can get. It's nice. But it does seem a little bit too powerful, you know what I mean? Anyways, Zihu, let's go ahead and get the travel logistics, and let's go ahead and train up another round of soldiers. We don't even need tanks. This scenario is, yeah, just a little bit on the easier side for normal difficulty. I think you got to play this one more or less on Mega Brutal if you want to get yourself some sort of a challenge. We'll continue to threaten these guys, because, I mean, at this point, why not? We'll probably end up blocking the peace process, although if you really want to be meta, what you would probably do is go ahead and start the peace process, farm out as much as you can, reject it, and then eventually pick up the kill the insurgents thing and just stabilize the entire region instead, which we're already well on our way to doing. Uh, refugee crisis, we're gonna go ahead and give them some land. We said we were gonna do that, so I plan on sticking by it. Thank you very much. Yeah, next time we have the opportunity, I think we just go ahead and start the peace process. But it's a farce. It is a lie. I have no intention of, uh, declaring peace with these people. I just wanna string them along long enough that I can do whatever I want. Let's try to talk to them. There's no way that they're allowed to say no. I'm gonna set up some troops over here, so if we do fight over here, eventually they don't retreat across the river. Insurgents are, in fact, going to be banned, of course. Why would we ever do anything else? Let's train some more troops. $21 for that one. Ouch. There's a little on the painful side. Hey! This is a stabilized zone. This is a stable zone. You're not supposed to be allowed to set up a camp over here. That is breaking the rules. Say you're sorry for breaking the rules. 
They don't care. They're not sorry. They're not sorry at all. By the way, no airstrikes, and we're still doing really well with all of this. So these guys all die. Once again, they don't retreat anywhere, which means I don't have to worry about anything. We could subsidize TV to get more um, stuff. Sure, why not? That sounds good. Uh, we're going to say you're all going to prison, which, of course, you would think would make the leaders be all like, no way in heck we're ever surrendering, but they're going to surrender anyway. All right, international forces are allowed to stick around for freaking ever. And then we're going to go ahead and start sending some troops over here. Can't reinforce across the river. But that doesn't matter too much. Hand over all your weapons. Definitely not allowed to keep any of those. Absolutely not. What kind of a responsible leader of this region would I be if you were allowed to keep weapons? You've already proven yourself to be extremely untrustworthy people. And then we just send some more troops over here, and now we're fighting on all directions, and we should be fine. These guys are a little bit strong over here. Let's get some extra strength. I hope we don't lose units. Okay, it does not look like they actually die if they're having trouble here. We're going to reject the deal. Just antagonize them a bit more, which might spawn another camp somewhere, but we're pretty close to stabilizing this whole area. I can't get more reinforcements over here, even if I wanted to. I feel like my only option is either win a fight over here, or we need to get airstrikes going. And I think airstrikes are the easiest way to go, so let's go ahead and do that. Boom. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Wish we could reinforce across the rivers. Just set up some artillery along the bank, okay? Something like that. Is that too hard to understand? Fine. Heavier ordnance. Bigger boom equal victory. That's warfare right there. Let's go ahead and cover up. I never admit fault. Never admit fault. Subtle pressure again. This time they really do have to cut some uh, stability. And these guys really don't want to lose, do they? They're trying. They're trying real hard. They got 103 strength over here, dude. And yeah, we're nowhere near strong enough over here either. Wow. These guys are actually doing pretty good. Let's get some drones. A little bit of extra intel, a little bit of extra combat boost or something. We just need to win in one of them. Once we win in one of them, they fall like a deck of cards. Yeah, now we have enough strength we can win this. There we go. Just need to win this fight, and then we just clear them out. We're fine. Reject the deal again. Why not? Sounds good. Boom. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say kill the insurgents. Just kill them all. Also, increase hostility level. Who cares? Also, blimps? Blimps. Also work as media office. What's a blimp? Oh, wait. Blimp. Oh, blimp. Yes. Let's go for that. I was trying to think, okay, so I, I kind of, my brain did think of the airship, but I'm like, blimp must mean something else. What would a blimp do for a media office, right? Multiplying existing supply level? It's a freaking blimp. I mean, really? Like, who thinks of airships? Who thinks of zeppelins, of blimps these days? It's not a thing. So I'm like, it must mean something else, but no. No, I think they, I think they literally just mean airship. Oh, two camps over here. Well, no wonder you guys had so much dang strength. All right, well, at this point, they're dead. Uh, despite the fact that there are a lot of guns firing off right now, let's just go ahead and wait for this to be done. Hey, look, you were supposed to reject the peace deal. Wait a minute, you said there was no peace process. All right, you know what? Just agree to the peace deal and we win. I, I know I disabled that, but apparently that lied. That, that did not do what it said it would. So we win a little bit faster at 221 reputation. That's pretty darn good. Um, it's a fun idea for a scenario. A little bit on the easier side here. Surprisingly, I really didn't think it was going to be with the oil derricks being what they are. The only reason this scenario is easy is because the insurgents die. That's it. If they were free to retreat like they normally would and killing them is a bit harder, then they would actually have a chance at building up and becoming very, very hard to contain. In fact, if anything, that might make it too hard because you're so desperately reliant on four oil derricks. So I don't know how I... I don't know what to change as far as balance. I think this could use some tweaking in order to make it a bit more difficult. Otherwise, the theming is pretty solid. I like that. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.